In this video, I'm going to show you three different apartments uh, around Ubon City in Isan. And I'm going to show you the, the cost of each apartment. And one of them is going to be, it's going to be the apartment that I picked and live for the next three months. Okay, so this is a uh, iced lemon tea. It's Samsip baht. It's 30 baht. By the way, I don't recommend any one of these apartments. Uh, and if you're interested in, um, in the location of any one of these apartments, I'll have the link at the end of this video. So you can uh, go to the link, sign up to the newsletter, and I'll send you all the information and the location of each apartment that you'll be seeing here. When I was living in um, Ubuntu City, uh, I, I spent a week in a hotel. And then I spent uh, that week looking around for apartment. There's a mall here called City Mall, City of Colors. And there's a KFC right ahead. There's a restaurant, so I'm gonna go in this mall, check it out. My shorties. These are 2,690 baht. That's almost a hundred dollars. Pretty expensive. Alright, that was a quick pit stop. Now we're off. They even have drive through here. This is the first drive through I saw in Thailand for KFC. Uh, I walked maybe like two straight days looking for different apartments. Uh, so this is the only three apartments that I'll, I'll show you. Uh, the other ones uh, wasn't up to my standard. In front of me is one of the main roads uh, inside Ubon. And it doesn't look that uh, busy. I think I could drive or ride my scooter here. Um, it's not as crazy as Bangkok or Chiang Mai, parts of Chiang Mai in the in the city of Chiang Mai it's not as busy as that as well as Hua Hin, like the, the main roads on Hua Hin it's a lot busier than this main road in Ubun I don't see a lot of um, a lot of uh, what you call it, those uh, Song Tao or those red truck uh, there are Song Tao but there's also a lot of uh, meter taxi. There's not as much um, as many meter taxi here as uh, let's say uh, Bangkok, but there's more than uh, Chiang Mai. So it's pretty easy to just grab a meter taxi here. And that's the Song Tao just left, just passed by. So yeah, there's no subway. There's no BTS, uh, MRT. But um, there's a lot of meter taxi, so it's gonna be pretty easy for me to just grab one of those meter taxi. I saw maybe like a handful of foreigners their entire day of walking. There's not a whole lot of foreigners living in a place like Ubon City. That's a lot of stuff. Finally made it to the first apartment. I think, I hope they have a room available. And I'm just gonna speak Isan now, uh, mainly because maybe I can get like a, a discount or I can hackle a little better if I speak Isan. Let's see. All right, so the apartment number one, this one is 5,000 baht per month. It's right inside the city, not in the middle, not in the downtown area, but it, it's, I, I would say it's pretty close to to the downtown maybe like 20 minutes walk uh, again it's 5,000 baht per month it's practically brand new I think it's about one years old uh, it's right next to Big C Big C is a supermarket in Thailand if you don't know it's kind of like Walmart of Thailand uh, it's close to 7-eleven and there was a McDonald across the street as well as a night market and there were a bunch of uh, different restaurants nearby this is the first uh, apartment. Now, when I went to this uh, to check out this apartment, I saw it online and it was listed at four four thousand six hundred baht per month. But once when I went there, it was uh, five thousand baht per month. I asked the lady 
how come the price changed, that sort of stuff. Can I have the same price as the website? She said, no, blah, 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 you know, just make up some excuses. So expect that if you're looking for an apartment, a lot of times uh, you go to a place and they jack, jack up the price. So you see on the website as one price, but once you go to the actual location, it might not be the same. Um, you can always negotiate. Expect that, don't get upset. Uh, I think a lot of the times the staff, they get commissions, so they kind of you know want some commissions, but that's not always. Uh, Sometimes they do it. Uh, a lot of time the employees, they don't have any control over it, so they will tell you exactly how much uh, you have to pay. Let's talk about the cons besides the price. Uh, there's no pillows, there's no blankets, no bed sheets because this is a non-service uh, apartment. And it's not a, a big deal because I can always go out and buy pillows and blankets. The problem with that is that it's gonna cost me at least now 2,000 baht to do. And by the end of the month or by the end of the three months that I'm staying, I have to give it away and donate it. Uh, so it's just gonna be a waste of a couple thousand baht, but it's again, it's not a big deal. That apartment that we just came from was over there, about 10 minutes from here. So 10 minutes from here, you get big C, you get all this restaurants and uh, plaza, pizza company. And there's a mall, there's a restaurant, Thai restaurant, there's 7-Eleven. So it's close to pretty much any, everything I wanted. I might just skip going to those two places and then come to this place. I'm not sure. There's an entire building dedicated to the Apple uh, smartphone, which is like the, uh, the, the rip-off version of uh, Apple. Okay, so I've been walking around for the past 20 minutes. It seems like this area is for like students. So there's a lot of apartments. So I think there's like a university around this area. So this is all apartments. That's a hotel. That one's a hotel. The second apartment is 7,000 baht per month. This is actually a hotel. So it's a hotel as well as uh, apartment. You'll find, again, you'll find a lot of uh, apartment and hotel that does that, uh, especially when there's not a lot of vacancy. So there's a lot of places that, you know, that does this. Uh, ideally, if they're a hotel, they want people to stay there per day because they make more money as a hotel and people staying there per night not per month because per month they not they don't make as much money um, but you can expect a lot of places in Thailand that does both so this place again 7,000 baht per month now I really like this place I actually I love this place it's like super clean it's mint the washroom is like very modern very clean um, the bed uh, looks uh, comfy looks very comfortable it comes with bed sheets and pillows and blankets and all that so I don't have to worry about that. I'm not sure if it's a service apartment where they have people coming in and clean the room but uh, 7,000 baht per month was also like at the higher uh, higher end of my budget uh, but it's very nice. I love pretty much everything about this place. I love the balcony and a couple units down there is a huge terrace so that's a nice plus. Now on the cons of this is that it's very far from uh, from the main areas. There's no big C, there's no 7-Eleven. There were a handful of Thai restaurants. Um, there's a lot of bars around this area because there, it's right next to a uh, university. So, and at that time I didn't have a scooter. I didn't have my own transportation. Also the price, 7,000 baht per month was on my um, higher end of my budget ideally uh, you know i'd like to go maybe six five thousand baht this is a very nice place i really like it too bad it's kind of far from everything 
Oh yeah, so the one we just saw, that that wasn't on my uh, on my plan. I just saw the place. I walked up to it. Uh, so that's one thing you can do. You just you can just always walk up. A lot of the places are not online or listed online. So if you see something that you like, it has a, you know it looks like an apartment. Just walk in there and ask. Uh, I think she speaks English. Okay, so apartment number three is called Urban Living. Uh, it's 3,500 baht per month. Uh, the lady doesn't seem too um, interested uh, with me because I was only uh, staying for three months. So also expect that a lot of uh, property owners, they're not going to be too eager to lend their room or their unit to people staying for two or three months or one month unless the, the price is a little higher. So uh, this lady was like that. She, she wasn't too interested in me because I'm just staying only three months. So she showed me the, the first room in the apartment. So it's right next to the entrance on the ground floor. So there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of foot traffic going in and out of this uh, apartment. It's like a six story apartment. So there's going to be like a couple, maybe a couple hundred people living there, maybe, maybe a hundred or something. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of uh, noise, people walking back and forth. Uh, the room inside doesn't look very modern. Is um, So for 3,500 baht, you're going to expect that type of uh, living standard is like uh, more of a Thai living standard. It's not up to my standard, uh, my living standard. So, but it was cheap. And yeah, and the lady wasn't interested in me for, to staying that long. The cons of this is again, is um, it's right next to the to the entrance. So there's gonna be a lot of foot, uh, foot traffic, a lot of noise. Also, she wanted electricity for 10 baht per unit, which is a lot higher or maybe around 20, 30% higher than uh, other places I live in Thailand. Those were my three apartments that I checked out. There were more apartments that I checked out in Ubon, but um, the standard of living was not up to my up to par. So I didn't, I'm not gonna show all of them. So these are the three that I checked out. All right, so what apartment would you pick? Number one, two, or apartment number three? And what uh, apartment do you think I pick? One, two, or three? Uh, leave your comment in the comment section below. All right, so let's talk about the one that I didn't pick. So obviously apartment number three, I'm not gonna pick that one. Even if that apartment was given to me for 1,000 baht per month, I don't think I would live there. It's just too noisy. The living standard uh, was not up to my living standard. Uh, it was far from um, restaurants. There's no 7-Eleven around. So number three was out the list. And I didn't pick the apartment number two because it was very far from restaurants, very far from um, stores, shopping, uh, grocery stores and 7-Eleven. So I didn't pick number two, although I really like number two. Um, now, if I have a scooter or my own trans transportation, I would have probably picked number two, but uh, I didn't pick it because of that. So this left with apartment number one. All right, so I picked apartment number one because right next to Big C, there's a food court there. In Big C, there was a uh, KFC downstairs, uh, down uh, below uh, Big C, and there was a uh, McDonald across the street. I prefer not to eat McDonald in Thailand, but um, they have McDonald. There was a 7-Eleven uh, nearby, so there's a lot of um, places where I can go eat and shop. Once I move into apartment number one, I noticed there's a huge sign in the front. I didn't see this sign when I first uh, went to check out the uh, the apartment because I, I walked in on the, the other side. So the, the sign uh, clearly said 4,300 baht. And I think I overpaid because I paid 5,000 baht per month. But anyways, um, it's not a big deal for me. Um, you know, it kind of 
ticked me off a little bit, but whatever. I also have a couple of Thai friends that came to visit me, and they all said that it's it's very expensive for five thousand baht for a room that size, very small. Uh, it's a lot smaller than the one that I'm living currently right now. Uh, this one is it's the same price. It's five thousand baht uh, per month. It's about twice as big. Um, but anyways, uh, it's not gonna you know make me mad or you know make me want to go back to the west that sort of stuff okay so again i don't recommend any one of the apartments that you see in this video now if you're interested to know the location the names of these uh three apartments or the regions or the areas that i uh that I went in Ubon City, check out the link at the corner here and sign up to the newsletter and I'll send you all that information as, uh, along with the free ebook about Thailand and the uh, best cur currency exchange, exchange inside Thailand. Now, if you already subscribe to the newsletter, you don't have to do it again. Just check your inbox. I already sent you all that information. And I also made another video uh, about apartment hunting, uh, like a cheap apartment hunting guide inside Thailand. So if you're interested, check out uh, my guide of getting a cheap apartment or not, not cheap apartment. You can get like mid range or uh, luxury uh, accommodations inside Thailand. So you can use the same tips and in information in this video. So check out that video if you haven't watched it yet. If you watch all the way to this point, make sure to hit that like button and share this video. Check out the free ebook with over 40 pages of information about Thailand, the do's, the don'ts, information about visa, money saving ideas, as well as other useful information. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Oh, man. Man, man.